Well, hi there. Hmm, I've grabbed this jar. I've also grabbed a set of gloves and I've got my favourite little spider spray. It's right in the middle of winter in Australia. Warning, this video contains graphic images of nasty ants and very deadly spiders. If you are triggered by images of those critters, this video is not for you. I've just been doing a tidy up of behind my garage and uh, I've sort of reset some timbers up there. And I also, uh, well, tidied up my vacuum cleaner collection without saying a brand name behind there. You can see all of them down there without saying the brand. I've got quite a few of them, hey? I'm recording this video on July 31st. We've had a very peculiar winter. It's been very, very warm. Yesterday in Sydney was 26 degrees. That was July 30. I think it ended up being the warmest July day on record. That's basically summer temperatures in the middle of winter. Now I know the bulk of my audience live in the Northern Hemisphere. You're having your summertime, but don't you worry, winter is coming. Now behind me here is a redback spider in winter recluse mode. Uh, they're very tricky spiders to find in the middle of winter. If I went around to my normal spider areas in my backyard, there's sort of no sign of them. Maybe the webs from last summer, that's all you're going to find. But we're going to take a look at this girl and we're going to wake her up. Okay, uh, Mrs. Redback Spider is up basically at shoulder height. It's hiding within the metal on this lovely aluminium ladder here. And as we track along here, we're going to get a bit of a closer look of where she's living. Just got a torch here so I can hopefully see better. I, the only thing I'd say I'd noticed here is uh, some very, very fine wispy web. Uh, there's a little bit of web traversing uh, through the center there, culminating in like a center spot there. Hope you, hopefully you can see it shining there. But Mrs. Redback is, uh, is a quite a large female, is resided down there hiding away. Now the other thing I've noticed here of interest is she's got like a, a, a web that's sort of like a housing going all the way around here. And she's sort of down inside this area, which is totally encased by web. I'm curious to see that one there. I'll just start pulling this. Wow, it is very strong. Wow, it's amazing actually. So this girl has set up a very nice home sweet home, I can tell you. And she's actually cocooned herself in there. Very different to what I would find. She's not going to like being dragged out because it's her slumber time. Come on girl, come to papa. Ooh, she's a stunner. And I'm going to be very gentle here because she's uh, going to be acting like I'm being attacked. But I want to see her in a winter mode because it's a spider you rarely see in winter time. Come on. I've got to say, this web that she set up is quite amazing, that protective layer there. Here she is, come on. I'll try and get her to come out. She's probably not going to want to play. Because uh, she's uh, hibernating. That's a nice word to use, isn't it? Yes. Look at her there. Wow, she is a beautiful, beautiful uh, specimen, I can tell you. Very, very nice looking. Yeah, as you can see, she's camera shy. She's not wanting to look at me. Uh, she wants saying, go away, go away. It's winter time. Leave me alone. I've just set a torch up behind there. That's the web. That was really the only indicator that there was a red back spider there. It was going between the parts of this ladder here and she had a little safety cocoon down there. I'll be honest here, I've actually uh, never seen a redback spider in the middle of winter. Look at her there, she's sort of just like playing dead. Oh look, she, there's that very sticky stuff that they use because we sort of know how these spiders work because of the way I studied them and she's actually on my tweezers now which I don't know if that's such a good thing because I haven't got any gloves on. Hang on a second, just let me put those down. I'd say she's just trying to bite the tweezers there because she probably sees it as something that's not friendly. Now what I'm going to do is just try and get off the tweezers here and I'm just going to try and take her somewhere a little bit different. Or maybe I can just carry her across like this and watch me get bitten here. Okay, into the jar. Oh, she's in. And while I am here, I'll just reach in and grab her older set of legs. I'm a bit curious to take a look. Well, there it is there. Um, maybe it was a spider she had eaten or something. It might be legs, it might be something like a winter tree. I really can't quite tell now. Well, it certainly reminded to me, uh, always wear gloves when you're picking stuff up in the garden. Even though the last thing I would have thought of finding on this ladder up high is a red back spider in the middle of winter. Now, if I came along and put my hand in the wrong spot, I'm going to get a nasty spider bite because Mrs. Redback Spider is going to want to try and protect herself if she feels threatened. And what I will do is I'll come along and spray the ladder here because who knows who else is going to come flying out of here once I spray this, hey? 
Mm. Oh, I'm coming a mouth full of it as well. I'll just stop talking for a moment before I become part of the kill. Well, it's now two days after uh, my initial finding of my glorious winter redback spider that I put into this box here. And I found two of the black beetles that I know these spiders love, and she's quickly hung them up on the web. I don't know whether she's fed from those yet. Because she's in winter mode, I've actually got a bit of a test to do with her in this bowl here, which I've put lithium grease around the top. When I did my deadly redback spider prison death camp, whatever you want to call it, I used Vaseline to control the spiders and stop them setting up web on the top mesh here. And I also applied it liberally uh, to inside here. This is actually the spider take as it looks today. Shock horror! <gasps> the spider's out there! Yes, that's right. It does come to an end. It's week 16. It's the final week. And I learned a lot about redback spiders when I played with them in this tank here. Yes, Thomas the Tank did survive. I know, seeing the spider tank is going to trigger a lot of people, please don't go there. Uh, the other thing that I've done with the spiders was when I had the redback spider versus the ants and I had Vaseline up on this lip here, mind you at the moment white lithium grease like that is on there because this is something that I want to try and look at. Uh, the other test zone in my backyard uh, uses WD-40, that's on those Tonka toys which really can't be played with up until Halloween goes by and that sort of designates roughly a year since I sprayed those toys but at the moment it's looking clean mind you I can see the carcass of a spider in there on the item that wasn't sprayed hmm what's that telling me so WD-40 hmm how uncomfortable does it make Spiderville hey that's the big question I've got I know this stuff here I, there was a pot that I put this on and it seemed to make it well, very slimy on a hot day, it ran everywhere, but I'm pretty sure that stops spiderwebs, but it does make a big mess. I'm hoping that this stuff here uh, is a little bit well, less messy, would be the nicest way to say it. I've heard so many people talk about talcum powder, but I think it's more in relation to ants. I think they say to use this, plus this, but I might be wrong. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that ants can't handle uh, talcum powder. And my mum used to work for Johnson & Johnson many years ago. She was a lady you met at the main office in Sydney. And she did that job right up to her retirement. There's a bit of trivia for you. Okay, let's put Mrs. Winter Wonderland Redback Spider into the lithium bowl. Now the trick here for me is uh, not to be bitten by this black beauty. Uh, they're very different spiders in winter time. It's a very, very unusual thing to find in winter time. And we'll allude to that. Uh, very soon in this video. I've got a bit of a discussion to say because I had a good look around my backyard, hey? Yeah, she's starting to wake up. You know why? Because I want to play. Come on, Mrs. Redback. Time to play. And as I've learned, they actually make spectacular pets. Mind you, you have to be very careful with them. And they breed <laughs> very, very easily. Oh, she's put a big web inside her thing here. And she's going to want to run around, isn't she? Okay, let's try and get her down into there. And is she going to play for me or not? Or just play hard to get? Oh, come on, Mrs. Redback, come on. Be nice and gentle with her, won't we? I'll just very carefully get her off this here, and she's very, well, very alert of me at the moment, isn't she? Okay, get her down to the bowl. Good girl, good girl. Of course, she's got that bit of web coming out the back there. They like to do that. So if I lift this up, it's like a puppet on a string. Look at that. World's most dangerous puppet show. Oh, now she's back on the lid. That was a bit silly, wasn't it, hey? Oh, now she's climbing. Come on down, Mrs. Redback. And she'll want to have a nip at that thing. Yeah, it's funny. I would not put this thing, this spider, on my hand. No way. Jose, as I've seen some people doing. Very, very stupid and dangerous to do. Okay. Hopefully got a little way and she's down in the bowl. Now, I might have created one of the most useless experiments on Earth because she's actually having trouble... On the plastic bowl, if I tilt it over, give her a hand here. Let's see what happens if you get something near that lithium grease, which is up around the lid, lippy area, should I say. Maybe you can see it on the white, maybe you can't. Well, she's in the grease now. Hmm. It's not really telling me that much, because she's having trouble on the plastic. Let's get her up there again. Maybe she doesn't like the lithium grease. Hmm. I've actually got to be careful. Look at this. She's got a web out. That's what they do. I've got another puppet on the string. 
Wow, they're very clever. When I pulled that lid away, uh, she just kept a, a web attached to it, and that was on the edge there. Now it's attached to these, so... Great puppet show, but a very dangerous one, isn't it, hey? How am I going to get rid of that web? If I pull it down like that... It's still attached. That's really... Maybe it's off now. Okay, so I'm just double-checking that there's no web connected to her. Wow, they're sneaky, aren't they? It's that web that is their escape trick. And in seeing that, that's a really big lesson in handling these spiders. They've always got that bit of trailing web, which is their escape plan. And if you're not worried about it, um, next thing they're on you, next thing you've got a nasty spider bite. What I'm going to do is, uh, that's actually pointless, so I'm just going to transfer this over to something I prepared earlier, and that is this uh, ring of death, which also has lithium on it. Let me get into proper position. Look at this. I'm just viewing this escape plan that she's got and she's just stalled there for a moment she's got a web up to the edge let's see if she can progress any further yeah, that's how far she is to the edge here and she's just touching the lithium there can she get past that mm, this be a very interesting little test here there she goes climbing higher she's just on the interface there and she's just fallen back a bit I've just obviously zoomed out a bit so you can see that. I'm just going to let her try and escape naturally here. She's obviously got a piece of web up to the edge lip of this bowl. But can she get past that lithium? Okay, there she is making another attempt. Now let me have a bit of a talk about what I found in my backyard after finding this redback spider. And this is why this one's an important one to me. It's right in the middle of winter in Australia. Mind you, we had a very warm day as I explained earlier in the video. Let me just go back and I'll show you footage that I've taken over the last two days of my backyard and I went for a big search for another redback spider and you know what and you can see in the video here guess what I found I didn't find any other I didn't find any webs I went to all of the typical places where these spiders would be lurching around in the warmer weather now finding the spider uh, she was very unlucky uh, for the fact that I found her she was up high she didn't have a drop down webs and the other thing to note about where I found her was there was no egg sacs. She was basically in winter hibernation. She's waiting out for the warmer weather, which would only be a couple of weeks away because we're down to our last month of winter. Now, it had me looking closely about what's going on in the garden at the moment. And what ants are about. And I'm thinking that maybe ants are going to be my best ally in controlling these spiders because what I noticed was there's actually a couple of different ant species in the backyard. I think there's the green ants or green-headed ants. I think they're called pony ants. They give a nasty bite. Whatever they do, I don't like them. There's black ants as well, and there's other ants there which I've got no idea. I think the little red ones are Singapore ants. I think they're more of a pest than anything else. Often see the ant colonies. You'll see, you know, a black ant carrying a red ant or, a, you know, one of the green-headed ants carrying a red ant or a black ant. They're always having fights. But from what I can see, uh, the ants are actually pretty good at cleaning up spiders, okay? So if there's lots of ants about, and there certainly always is, maybe they're the best ally I've got to getting rid of the spiderlings which would be waiting around to be nasty redback spiders come spring summertime. I'll tip her out into this other environment here because that white bowl she's just having tr trouble on the plastic we'll see how she goes in here okay she's made a runner for the edge already and this is going to be the real test can she get up this wall here because I've put the white lithium grease it's a aerosol spray so it's very easy to apply onto this and she's of course she's just going to go around and check the environment first hmm I haven't seen her try an attempt on the wall yet and all the time she's putting web out the back there I bet you she's got a web back to that bowl that I put back down on the table okay she's going to try a climb here on the white lithium grease and she's oh no she's fallen back down that might be a very good sign. Hmm. I wonder who else knows about the lithium grease as a way of controlling spiders, if it is a thing that's useful to have. Again, she's trying to climb the wall here. I'd be very curious uh, to keep this spider and see if it would end up being pregnant with and make an egg sac and lay her eggs. Uh, and I say keep her and keep her away from her males to try and uh, prove that point. They don't need males to generate more numbers. And the scary part of these spiders is that they can generate huge numbers in very little time. There she's, she's putting out web as she goes around here. She's trying to learn the environment. She's going to try and do a climb here. Let's see how good she is on the lithium. 
Hmm, I can't see us scaling that sidewall. It might be a very useful thing to have. I'll actually just check to see if she's got a web out from moving that bowl around. If I lift my tweezers up here, just going in the front here. Yeah, she does. Look at that. Because now she's like a puppet on the string again. They're amazing, aren't they? It's, you never see that web. And wherever they're going, they're dangling it out their backside. That's her little escape plan. So she has got a web up out of the bowl, but she can't get up the side of this bowl. Yeah, she's having another attempt here. Come on. Can you get up? past that lifting up she's rolled back down again it's a good sign it might be a winner for me spray the whole backyard with lithium hey who makes that stuff can you send me out a couple of crates please and what I'll do is I'll actually just edge this over so she's got an advantage it's not a steep for her let's see how she goes now okay I've really taken off the uh, inclination now it's almost I'm roughly 30 degrees and she's actually oh what do you think I'm saying roughly 30 degrees, I haven't got anything. Oh, she's nearly to the top there. Mmm. Maybe works best on a bit of a steeper angle like that. Let's just do that again. I'm a bit curious about that. Just rolling it over. This is where I'm going to get bitten, boys and girls. Oh, okay. We saw that, didn't we? Hey. Back in you go, Mrs. Redback. Back in you go. Let's put on the edge here. Oh, look at that. Feisty and she's back down. Yes, but if it's on a bit of a steeper incline there, she has trouble. So I'm going to do with her, I think I've seen what I wanted to see and show you what I wanted to show. I'll get her under my tweezers here and I'll just gently bring her across, get her back down into her little homestead here, winter homestead. And of course she can climb up that and quickly get the lid back on, hey, before she escapes. Yes, the redback spider, it's actually a very, very interesting little critter to keep. It's probably highly illegal now I've said that. Uh, the black beetles there, very easy to find. Just dig down into the, into the ground in wintertime in Australia. We've got literally thousands of those black beetles. And the redbacks love them. Just love the black beetles. So, um, my audience always teach me the good stuff. I'm in, still investigating WD-40. Uh, this could be a winner. Maybe you know about that one. As for talc and stuff i'm yet to really work out that i know this works but it's messy okay and what i really like to do is i'm trying to find the pony ant nest in my backyard and we might give mrs redback a bit of a challenge against those um very beautiful pony ants i hope they're pony ants but uh very curious to do another redback spider versus ant because i know it's always an interesting battle